Hello, enthusiasts of the classical world, curious minds and seekers of the ancient wisdom. Welcome to this YouTube channel where we embark on an extraordinary journey through time in order to unravel the mysteries of the civilizations of the ancient world. This channel consists of a lecture series, lecture series intended as an, as an introductory course for those interested in the ancient civilizations. My name is Didi Okansi Jr. I'm a senior member of the University of Ghana Department of Philosophy and Classics. I am not just an academic. I am a passionate explorer of the classical world, a forward-thinking educator, and a catalyst for change in the realm of classical studies. I have a commitment, a commitment to bring the wisdom of the Greco-Roman civilizations into the modern age in order to ignite curiosity and challenge conventional thinking. But most importantly, I'm your guide on this fascinating adventure and I couldn't be more chilled to have you here on this platform. Today, I am happy to introduce you to this lecture series that will take you on an unforgettable journey through time. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Welcome to Civilizations of the Ancient World. Now I know you might be thinking, why should I be excited about ancient civilizations? Well, fasten your seatbelt because this lecture series is more than just a stroll down memory lane. It is a mind-blowing exploration of our roots, our stories, and the echoes of the past that shape our present and future. It is important to note at this juncture that our lecture series will come in two main parts. Part one will deal with the biohistorical context of civilizations and this would include the origins of humanity culture its emergence needs and impact and the phases of cultural development part two we'll look at some major ancient civilizations i'll concentrate on just three out of the lot which is the Greek civilization, the Roman civilization, and the Egyptian civilization. And to some extent, I may also look at the Mesopotamian civilization. It is important to note that part one provides the biohistorical context for part, for part two. But irrespective of the part, which is either part one or part two, they will be drawing our attention to two main factors or facts about civilizations. One, these two parts or lecture series will be drawing our attention to the fact that the increasingly globalized standards of excellence in the artistic, scientific, 
and technological enterprise have had a long gestation period. And this long gestation period is a common heritage for humankind. In fact, they date back to several years. And these are accumulation of the various creative and imaginative efforts by innumerable individuals. And these individuals are sometimes anonymous or groups from several cultures of the ancient world. It's also supposed to draw attention to the fact that certain value systems and life conditions of antiquity seem to promote our psychological and social well-being much more efficiently than their modern counterparts. My dear viewers, kindly permit me to offer a justification for the approach I'll be using for this lecture series. Generally speaking, there are two main approaches that scholars normally use to study human societies. The first approach is that scholars normally collect information. They collect information about their society or other contemporary societies. And they use the information gathered to formulate laws and principles that are intended to explain what is taking place. In the second approach, scholars gather information about human societies in the past. And what they normally do is to attempt to identify some recurring themes or unfolding patterns. And what do they do with what they find? They use the knowledge they've acquired as a source of insight a source of insight into the nature of present day societies. And by this explanation, you notice that each approach have their own pros and cons. But this notwithstanding, this lecture series will blend both approaches but will be tilted towards the second approach. But you note that both approaches, most often than not, do not pay attention to the biological component of societal systems and developments. But we all agree that human situations, either past or present, involves the interplay or the continuous and dynamic interplay between cultural, ecological, and biological processes. So if you really want to understand human beings together with their society, then some credence has to be given to the biological component. And as I earlier on stated, the two dominant, dominant approaches used by scholars normally ignores this biological component. And the purpose of this lecture series is to highlight, is to pay attention to this ignored biological 
processes. But I'd like to conclude by saying that this lecture series is more or less a cultural history with a biohistorical qualification. So it is a combination of a cultural history that pays attention to the biological and historical context of societies. Description. Now let me give you a sneak peek into what awaits you in this journey. This lecture series is not just about the past. It is un about understanding the present and shaping the future. So we'll be exploring the biohistorical context of civilizations. We'll be unraveling the origins of humanity and we'll be delving into the legacies that past civilizations left behind. And guess what? We'll be focusing on the influences of these civilizations on contemporary societies with a spotlight on Africa and Ghana. What are the goals and objectives of this lecture series? Well, my dear viewers, buckle up because we've got two exciting objectives. First, we are diving into the scientific evidence behind human's evolution, humanity's evolution, and the fascinating story of our African origins. Two, we'll be taking a broader perspective by unraveling the historical processes that shaped civilizations worldwide. So get ready for that mind-blowing revelation and reflection on the infinite capacity for human adaptability and creativity. Outcomes. I am hoping that by the end of this lecture series, you are going to be walking away with a treasure trove of knowledge. You'll be able to explain and account for the origins of humanity, the emergence of culture, and its profound impact on biological and ecological systems. We are journeying through societal phases, uncovering the development of civilizations, and exploring the key features and scientific technological contributions of Asian civilizations that have shaped our modern world. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear viewers, are you ready? Ready? to embark on this epic adventure. If you are passionate about history, if you are curious about our shared human story, and if you are ready to unlock the secrets of the ancient world, then you are watching the right channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you do not miss any of the episodes.
as you join our community of ancient civilization enthusiasts. Get ready to be amazed, enlightened, and maybe a little bit mind blown. Asian civilizations, all civilizations of the ancient world, await you. I can't wait to explore the ancient world with you. Until then, stay curious, stay inspired, and I'll see you in our next episode. Let the journey begin. Dear viewers, we have finally come to an end of my welcome message. Thank you very much for your attention. I do not take that for granted. Have a nice day. See you in our next episode. Bye-bye.